Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Lisa Richardson. And I'm Katherine Maidaman. And today we're coming to you from the absolutely beautiful Old Town Bluffton Inn. It is gorgeous, and we're going to have a great conversation with a great group of ladies. We have Chelsea Thies, who is the manager at the Old Town Bluffton Inn, and Lindsay Edwards, who is the marketing director at Winnegar Plastic Surgery, and also Sarah Wright, who owns Broad Creek Concierge. We're going to have a great conversation. We certainly are, so stick around for this episode of 843 TV, where you'll learn all about the inn and some neat partnerships. And where the community comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where the Low Country comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV. We are back here at the absolutely beautiful Old Town Bluffton Inn and here to share with us how everything's been going is the general manager, Chelsea Thies. Thanks for having us back today. Thanks for being here again. It's so <laughs> glamorous and we just love it here and we're excited to share a little bit about how it's been going. You've been open a few months. Yeah. Tell us about it. Oh my gosh, it's been great. Um, we've had, again, I mean, last time we talked, I told you guys about all the wonderful people that come through the inn to visit us, but um, we have recently had spring break so that was we were you know booked full I got to meet a ton of people in the area for all different reasons traveling excursions um, but it's been wonderful now we're into May um, and I think that we're seeing a lot of um, you know schools kind of finishing up and and parents are ready to go and you know do some different adventures and stuff so this month of May we're running a special so on Mondays on Sundays, Mondays, and Tuesdays, we have a parents' night out where they can come stay at the end and um, stay with us for you know a reduced rate and get a sitter or maybe their grandparents will watch the kids for the night and just enjoy it before the kids are off for for the whole summer. And we were just talking oh, about we were that. Just trying to have that. <laughs> that sounds like a great plan. That is for a great sure. idea. You know, for people who don't understand that this is new. It's a beautiful, beautiful inn. I have to say, well appointed. Um, tell us about the size. There's 14 rooms. 14 rooms. All of the rooms are decorated differently. So. Um, you know, you stay in one room, you're going to get an experience. You come back and stay with us, you'll have another experience with a totally different look. Um, and we have, of course, our, our common lobby area. Um, we have our guest bar, which is fun in the evening. All of our guests kind of come together, um, get to visit with one another, mm -hmm. meet, meet and learn where each other are from. And um, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a great common area for people to come. And I also wanted to just point out that, you know, Old, Old Bluffton is really sweet and you are in the hot spot here. You go to the left, something's going on. Yeah. You go to the right, something's going on. So there's restaurants, there's mm -hmm. all kinds of things to do while you're at the inn. So I really want right. to make sure people understand that because it's just beautiful yeah a great experience you're totally right about that I mean once once our guests are here they park and then they can go they can see the art galleries they go and visit all of the different restaurants in the area the boutiques I had somebody walk through the front door the other day with this giant <laughs> antique that they bought at Mayfest and I was just like oh my gosh that's gorgeous so then you know I watch them putting it in their cars they drive away but it's it's fun and once you're parked you're good to go you can eat you can explore yeah. Um, you can even jump in a, a bike taxi and, and take that around town and get a ghost tour, um, a history tour. Of course, not to mention the absolutely beautiful May River that they can yes. walk and see the sunset or yeah. enjoy during the day. But besides what you're doing for the guests, you have events that you're working with. Tell us some about that. Yeah, um, well, I have a few on the horizon right now. I'm working with uh, two girls that are having their birthday. They've rented out the whole second floor. Oh. And they're all, it's, it's themed. They've got everything down to, you know, the type of drinks they're going to be serving. They're all going to be in the same outfit, so they're recognizable. And essentially, I'm hoping that this will be kind of a, a trend here where, you know, maybe you have a bachelorette party that wants to come and and then you know they walk out the front door they take their photo ops and then they head into town and they have their little stops that they do as a group and um, different things like that I've got um, tea parties we actually have one that's uh, happening tomorrow uh, high tea and we're going to hopefully have this be a weekly occurrence with Connie of Bluffton Tea Company so if you're a tea fan, you can come have high tea with us every Thursday. Well, I am a tea fan. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a lovely idea because again, you know, it's, it's a unique experience and it does lend itself. It's really pretty in here and yeah. the way it's furnished and things like that. So with the uniqueness, what do you think sets you apart from other lodging? accommodations? 100% the personal attention that you get with us. Mm -hmm. We customize everything from, you know, a husband calling saying, 
I, I want to um, you know, do something special for my wife. I want maybe chocolate covered strawberries in the room, um, which anybody can do that. But we actually work with people one on one. We get to know them at check in. We find out what brings them to the area. We find out what they're looking for and their particular experience. Um, you know, this morning we just met a couple in the lobby that they're here buying a boat. And, right. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. that's their mission is that they're going on a, a sea trial today to see how it <laughs> sails. But that, that, you know, the, that little experience, when they get back tonight, we're going to have, you know, a nice glass of wine and we're going to ask them how their experience was. Did they like the boat? And just being able to remember and um, make it memorable. Yes, what a personal touch. That's that's wonderful. So you're the one, that, are you the one essentially that works with them and tries to customize packages, reference, refers them to things, or do you have other staff members? Um, you know, I have a great staff here. Uh, we've got, I guess, six or seven people and we all are enjoy getting to know everybody, you know. So if somebody calls, um, you know, I have staff that actually come to me and they say, hey, I just talked to this great couple. They're coming here for this reason and um, maybe they're looking at a home. So I think that we all kind of contribute in our own way and that's what makes it feel like a family when you come and stay with us. Mm -hmm. You're staying in our living room, you're coming having breakfast in our, in our lobby area. Um, but that's the personal touch is that they don't just know Chelsea, they know Robin, they know Tilly, they know Abigail, they know everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So true because in just five minutes we got to know the, the couple that you mentioned belling the boat and so forth. Yeah. So you are partnering with some local um, businesses yes. and we're going to learn more in the next segment but touch a little bit about that to give us some highlights. Um, so. We are um, looking forward to having a, a really interesting partnership with Winnegar Plastic Surgery um, and doing kind of a, a, a destination um, pampering type stay here. And I don't want to um, kind of ruin the surprise because I do want Lindsay to kind of take it and, and talk to people about it. But we're really excited to offer a place to recoup, enjoy, have people, you know, today wait on you, take care of you. Um, if you wanna go in and maybe get some different touch-ups, um, different things done, we are putting together a program that will take care of you from A to Z, so. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> we will be right back for more with 843 TV. We are back. We now have Lindsay Edwards, who is the Director of Marketing for Dr. Winnegar Plastic Surgeries with us to talk more about, first I want to learn about doctor's uh, services here, what okay. he offers. So Winnegar Plastic Surgery, uh, he is, it's Dr. Winnegar, Frederick Winnegar owns um, Winnegar Plastic Surgery. He is a board certified plastic surgeon. He has been in practice for over 19 years. He focuses on um, everything, all body cosmetic surgery, so breast, body, um, face. He's actually written a book, um, Facial Rejuvenation, about the non-surgical um, and surgical um, sur um, procedures mm -hmm. of the face. So he um, is definitely uh, focused on all, cos on all surgical procedures. Um, we have our own state-of-the-art surgical center here um, in Bluffton. So from the time you walk in to Winnegar Plastic Surgery, for a consultation to the time that you're done with your surgery, it's all done in the same building. Mm -hmm. And the team, um, we really pride on being a team. So from the time you walk in the door, who you meet the from day one is who you will see um, through the whole process. So that's a little bit of Winnegar Plastic Surgery. We are definitely focused on results um, and um, we pride ourselves on that. And what you all do is not just cosmetic, but also need as a result of you know, medical situations and so forth. Is that correct? Yes, we do. Primarily, it's cosmetic sur um, surgery. Um, but we, yes, if it's it's really whatever the person wants to come in to um, focus on, we're able to help with. Now, you two have developed this mm -hmm. really unique partnership. Yeah. This is really unique to bring you all together. Tell us about how this is working. So we're really, really excited about our destination travel package. Um, Winnegar Plastic Surgery wants to be able to um, help all those everywhere. <laughs> um, so for that to be able here locally and also around the world. So if you're interested in getting cosmetic care and want to see Dr. Winnegar specifically, you're able to come here, um, stay here at this beautiful Bluffton Inn. And from start to finish, we will work with the Inn on making sure that your stay and um, is 
customizable to the services and the recovery period that you need here. So um, when it comes to the surgery process, we'll transport you from the inn to our um, office on 350 Forty Nine Island Road mm -hmm. um, at, our at our surgery center. Um, 10 minutes down the road yes, from here. Yes, mm -hmm. so um, very local, very close. And then um, we will make sure um, that everything from what you want to eat each meal after recovery to um, any special requests that you want will be taken care of. Mm -hmm. So that's really, we're really excited about that um, connection. So even when it comes to post-op appointments, home health nurse, everything will be taken care of. So that's all, Dr. Winterger will be here for post-op um, care and then their home health nurse. E nurse, even though you will have someone, I'm sure a loved one that will help, you know, that loved one, that's a lot of, it can be a lot of care and a lot of over. And they may not mm -hmm. if they're coming mm -hmm. from out of town. Mm -hmm. Correct. And sometimes mm -hmm. people quietly want to leave town to have some sort of procedure done. Yes. And go <laughs> they don't want their town. friends to know <laughs> what's so, going you know, on. But I really so. want to point out what's very <laughs> yes. important though, after you do have the medical procedure, when you're here, you will be looked after. You will have medical care. It continues. You're just not left right. alone in a hotel room or something like that. That happens on occasion. But having this relationship now mm -hmm. really is quite strong. And, and I that's think what we're it's a dynamic about. way. Yeah, yes. marrying that relationship mm -hmm. with, you know, for us, is is providing the support for for the guest and yes. and giving them that feeling of the home away from home so for us it was a it was a pretty natural um, collaboration between Winnegar and, and the other can I ask is that did it, no matter how long it takes to recover they still are okay here they can Correct. recover here in their time yes. so I think that's important to understand you're not you know, required a certain amount of time, you have to go somewhere else. So Correct, right. if somebody, and you know, what's unique is Bluffton's a beautiful area, great destination. Hilton Head Island is a beautiful area, destination. So mm -hmm. it's something to think about if somebody wants to kind of go away, have a procedure done, mm -hmm. recover, this is a thing to do. Very much so. Yeah, oh, so maybe we need to do that. <laughs> 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 well, and what, and what we love about this is, you know, we really encourage after any type of surgery, and especially with cosmetic um, surgeries, that you get out and get some fresh air. So yeah. the beautiful balconies here mm -hmm. and things like that, even if they don't want to get out and walk around yet, they can sit on the balcony and enjoy, you know, the views and the environment. In private and still mm -hmm. feel like they're in the middle of, yeah. you know, the action because we are surrounded by shops and boutiques mm -hmm. and restaurants. Restaurants and, and last time we were here, you gave us this wonderful tour, and we got out on those balconies and we yeah. saw that. So I can That's attest right. it's just a great just little private the sun place. in your face. It's nice. Yeah. And and I didn't realize that actually when we started talking, I was thinking, oh, you know, they're going to need something very quiet, a dark room. And Lindsay was like, no. I mean, we actually, you know, recommend the opposite. You want to, you know, maybe sit outside on the porch on the balcony, enjoy the sunshine, um, get up, maybe walk around a little bit, not too much, but right. you know, enjoy the space. Yeah. And and we were also talking about when you're when you're home sometimes you don't recoup as well as you should because you're you know seeing the dogs or you're seeing that the the kitchen needs to be fixed up or whatnot mm -hmm. so here at least it's a push button for our staff to support you um, and 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 provide that assistance without you even the laundry you. you know yes. take care oh, of the laundry bonus, right <laughs> you can't help that you can, yes mm -hmm. And like we keep saying, it's a step away to next door where they can just take a quick walk and yeah, get mm -hmm. out and enjoy. So it's just a win-win situation for, for everyone. Mm -hmm. So this, we've, we've piqued somebody's interest now. So how do we go about finding what to do? <laughs> what do they need to do? <laughs> yeah, so we have everything set up. Um, on Winter Plastic Surgery, we actually have a page. It's destination and travel package. You can go in there. It has all the details. But call us, 843, um, if you have the phone number, 843-757-0123. Call us. Um, we're able to customize, like I said, based off the procedure that you're looking to do, come in, um, we'll schedule your consultation, and then we'll go from there um, based off of all the details, um, how long you want to need to stay and what you're looking for. And, and we'll customize it to, to those needs. Yeah, and that's what we talked about when we developed the um, the program is we wanted to offer a multi-tier so that we mm -hmm. could attract all different levels of interest and you know whether it was something smaller that maybe you just needed a, a day in a day out mm -hmm. kind of thing or maybe it was a week long stay mm -hmm. but we've right. we've made it so that it's accessible for everyone um, no matter what you know they were having done we wanted to be able to draw in everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is exciting stuff, and we've got to. Uh, Take a quick break, but we're going to be back with more from the Old Town Bluffton Inn.
Welcome back to 843 TV from the Old Town Bluffton Inn. And joining us now is Sarah Wright with Broad Creek Concierge. Thank you for uh, talking with us today. Thank you for having me. Just tell us a little bit about your business. Broad Creek Concierge is a luxury home management and concierge business here in the Low Country. Um, I help my clients with concierge and any type of luxury needs that they might have. When you say clients, describe who might be your clients. Um, someone coming in for a vacation that wants the refrigerator stock, the, the liquor cabinet stock, their dinner reservations made, their tea times booked, or maybe it's an, um, a client that owns a home here but doesn't live here full time and they need someone to look over the home to make sure it's well taken care of while they're not here. Gotcha. Well, that's a great service to have. And so as part of the team that we are talking about today, what you're also now going to provide for a patient who is staying here at the mm -hmm. inn is that you can also help them with their needs. If it's after they're, they're brought back here for recovery, if they need to have medications, they need to have things done such as, as you, what do you suggest? Absolutely. So I'm very excited to um, be partnering with Old Town Bluffton Inn on this destination package. So any client that comes back here for recovery, for um, rest and relaxation, I can pick up their medicines, go pick up popsicles, mm -hmm. help them with laundry, anything that they may need um, to feel more comfortable during their stay here. Do you help with transportation? Um, yes, I can, whether it's taking them to a doctor's appointment or picking something up, I can definitely do that. This is quite a trio we've got here, isn't yeah. it? I know, I know, I, I mean, I'm really impressed because this is very thought out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like the thought of that because as somebody coming in, having a procedure, that's a little scary. Mm -hmm. And then it's recovering from the procedure, that's a little scary. Mm -hmm. And then knowing that someone's going to look after me on all kinds of levels through medical caring and things that I need to, and if I'm by myself, that's the mm -hmm. biggest concern if you do this right. by yourself, right. you're looked after. And I think mm -hmm. that's really important for everybody to see that and mm -hmm. hear about this. It's a three point, I think. It's the medical, it's um, having a, a nice, clean, beautiful place to stay where you're happy and you feel comfortable recovering. And then it's the personal care, which I think, you know, as a trio, we bring we it full circle. Yes. And that's yeah. for Sarah. And it, it takes that whole angst out of the whole procedure. Yeah. So this person right. now can go and have it done and feel good and be happy about it. So I think it's a great concept, great idea. And that's our number one. You know, when it's our patient, our patient is our number one focus. And we want mm -hmm. to be able to make sure that they do have a home away from home and that we and we can trust the Bluffton in and in, in doing that. So that's what we love about the partnership mm -hmm. for sure. Because certainly word of mouth and sharing these days is what really you know, gets others involved and spreads the word. So with the experience they have here, they're obviously likely to share that with others. And mm -hmm. and Absolutely. it's so important to be able to do that, especially in today's times where the media and social media are so oh, yeah. so big and sharing mm -hmm. what a great experience they have here is yeah. oh, you know, wonderful. And to be able to provide something different. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I think it's it because we're small, because we're a 14 boutique and because we have that um, personal touch and that personal interaction, it's just, it's different. It's different than what you might get um, if you say come into town and you don't know anyone and you're in a hotel room and um, you know it just you feel like you could call down to us and boss us around a little bit we would be okay <laughs> with that. <laughs> well that's true I really like that I mean you're, you're, you're very personable all three of you you know I feel comfortable I mean if I really felt like I needed to have something done maybe sometime <laughs> I, I, want, I, want to, I want the experience because I think you're gonna make me feel okay. Lindsay <laughs> send her her information. Yeah. Get her email. <laughs> 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 You've got to get yourselves in the brochure, I think. What a lovely trio, the, the picture I, I put in there. So. But let's talk a little bit about more about Broad Creek Concierge. Sure. And, and just a little bit more about your background. You mentioned you have uh, you even know the Savannah area very well. I do. I lived in Savannah for about 14 years prior to moving to Hilton Head. I absolutely love it here. Um, but I've been doing this for about eight years. I serve Savannah, Beaufort, Bluffton, Hilton Head really anywhere in the low country area. Yeah, and so for those watching who might not realize that mm -hmm. how closely connected Bluffton is to Savannah, mm -hmm. and in between, you're here to help with Absolutely. this whole area. Mm -hmm. And it has such growth and change over the last few years that you really plugged in very well. Yeah, no, and also with your business, you know, the upcoming season's upon us. People mm -hmm. are gonna be renting homes and yeah. renting condos, so 
it's nice to come in and have everything stocked. I think yes, that ma'am. takes a lot of... Uh, Sarah even goes down to, I mean, and I love, I love Sarah, and that's why I brought her into this, because I, I trust her, but she goes down to the details of lighting candles mm -hmm. before the owners get home, oh, like okay. right before oh, wow. they pull in. Mm -hmm. And I'm just little things like yeah. that. You, you don't speak highly enough of, <laughs> of everything that she does, because oh. she, really, she really thinks of everything, and, and um, her, her clients come first, 100%. I've seen your work. <laughs> Surprises are coming to mind yeah. where if someone mm. wants to, you know, have an engagement yes. or yeah. something like that, Absolutely. you know, some exciting, tell us some exciting things that you might have done to so help coordinate. Some exciting things along those lines. I got a call a couple of years ago from a gentleman coming to town. He wanted to propose. It was marathon weekend. So he coordinated with me the time he was planning to um, be back from the marathon before dinner, uh -huh. um, left me the code to his condo. I got fresh flowers, cake, food, the whole nine yards. So my daughter and I set up rose petals in the shape of a heart, oh. um, <laughs> set up music for him to play right before she walked in. He proposed and then they had a cake and some fruit. It was just such a sweet romantic event. Um, so I love planning the intimate events just as much as I like planning 200 guest weddings. Sure. So I can do all of it, but my favorite is definitely the small intimate. Well, share with us how to get a hold of you. What is your website? It's broadcreekconcierge.com. Um, you can also call me at 843-505-1243. Imagine, do you have a Facebook page or anything? I do, um, Facebook and Instagram um, for Broad Creek Concierge. And on that note, you've got an Instagram and Facebook page probably for the inn. We do. Tell us about that. We can see pictures and yeah. see all things going on. Um, and we have a great um, resource on our Facebook page where we blog about different events that are going on in the area and we talk about um, you know, why you might want to come stay with us in June or July and where all the fireworks are. But we try to be a good resource for all of our guests so that they can utilize our Facebook for that reason too. And and definitely check out um, one of your plastic surgeries, Instagram yeah. and Facebook as well. So you can yeah. see their w beautiful work. We have before and after. Well, thank you so much, ladies. We enjoyed it so much. A lot of good information. Yeah, and for those of you who don't know, the Bluffton Inn is open, we and there's so many exciting yay. things to learn about. So we thank you all for watching this episode of 843 TV, where communities come to speak. Thank you.